Hi, this is Dr. Mark Weirman, and this is a brief overview of the physiology of a rod photoreceptor. On the cell membranes of the photoreceptors, there are many sodium ligand gated channels. In the photoreceptor, there are many discs which contain rhodopsin, and rhodopsin is a combination of retinol and opsin. Near rhodopsin are a couple proteins, transducin and PDE. When there is no light present, cyclic GMP acts as a ligand and opens up the sodium ligand gated channel. Sodium will diffuse constantly into the cell raising the memory potential from negative 70 to negative 40. This constant diffusion of sodium into the cell is called the dark current. The negative 40 millivolts caused by the dark current will have an effect on the calcium voltage gated channels at the terminal end. Calcium will diffuse into the cell and promote exocytosis and secretion of the neurotransmitter glutamate into the synaptic cleft. Glutamate will activate the metabolic glutamate receptors and inhibit the bipolar cell. This inhibition of the bipolar cell prevents any action potentials from going to the brain. When light is present and hits the photoreceptors, the photons of light will activate the retinol. The retinol will change from a bent to a straight shape, or cis to trans, and leave the opsin. The leaving of the retinol activates the opsin, which activates the proteins nearby, which eventually will start to break down the cyclic GMP. With the removal of cyclic GMP, the sodium ligand gated channels will close. With the closing of the sodium ligand gated channels, the dark current has discontinued. The negative 40 voltage will now return back to negative 70. The negative 70 membrane potential will also cause the calcium voltage gated channels to close. With the decrease of calcium diffusing into the cell, the glutamate is not released. With no glutamate activating the metabolic glutamate receptors, the bipolar cell is not inhibited. This allows the bipolar cell to activate the next cell in the process and send an action potential to the brain to show the image of the light received. This has been a brief overview of the physiology of a rod photoreceptor, and I hope it helps you.